Holy cow. I think I just got my first mule deer. I went to explore a new spot today where I just got permission. And uh, I just figured while I explore, I'll just do it slowly. A little stalking spot or whatever that's called. And uh, I hung out in one spot for 20 minutes. And all of a sudden, there they walked in, three of them. A doe, a fawn, and a doe. And uh, they were flanking me perpendicular to my wind here, or parallel. So I knew if I didn't start moving with them, eventually they're going to get downwind of me. So I, uh, I walked alongside them on the top of a ridge for probably 30, 40 yards. And all of a sudden, The two ahead of them got ahead of the one, and uh, and then all of a sudden she stopped and looked right at me through an opening, staring into my soul. And uh, anyways, I just stood perfectly still and. She took a poop. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that'll help on the gutting process. Anyways, now I'm just hoping it back to my truck here. A little ninja action under the fence. Both ways for traffic. There's my truck way up there. Oh, now I'm all forked up. Anyways, hopefully uh, she stays dead. Not mostly dead, but all dead. Update you soon. She is still down. I ran back to my truck for about 10 minutes and then back. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out where I shot her from so I can see if I can find my arrow. right over the spot I wanted to hit her. Oh, maybe I'll gut her first. She'll dress her and then see if unless I see a bunch of blood here. See her and there's no blood. I might have hit her high. But anyways, maybe my arrow was still in her. There she is. Oh yeah, long shot. There's 
the blood. So at the end of the video here, I thought I'd give a little bit of an update on how I shot this. This is my first time shooting a mule deer, first time uh, stalking um, in the bush, I guess, with my bow. It was kind of like I was scouting the spot. Um, never been to that spot. And um, I just thought, well, I know there's a couple in there. I've seen them earlier when I was sitting in, in the... I wanted to see their movements, uh, so I was sitting on the road. And uh, so anyways... I, I went to the far side of the property where I thought I would be uh, downwind and I just thought I'd start walking upwind and uh, here I'll show you how uh, I ended up finding them but yeah I just basically in the time that it took me to walk all the way back to my truck uh, when previously earlier when you see me uh, hoofing it back and talking uh, that's how long it probably took me two hours to get to where I was just kind of taking my time uh, walking through quietly. Um, so anyways, I'll show you here on my diagram um, where I ended up. Okay, so first off, the wind's going this way. I kept walk walking this way along uh, this fence line here. And um, anyways, just kept wandering along here, checking different cut trails and game trails uh, in here. Uh, it has been used as a pasture recently. But anyways, this is kind of like a high ridge here, and there's this main game trail uh, that runs along it. And down here is the valley uh, that runs all along, so it's it's kind of a ridge that runs like this. And um, anyways, I came across this secondary valley that starts up here and goes down, and it funnels on either side. And uh, so I just kind of camped out here, um, leaning up against the tree I had nowhere to really sit so I just stood there and I was probably there for 15 or 20 minutes and then all of a sudden way down here I seen um, three deer I seen one at first and they didn't see me and uh, they started walking this way and um, I knew if they get around me they're gonna they're gonna send me over here so um, I just kind of went back up here and at, at this point I was a little high um, they couldn't see me down here and so I just quiet got back onto the main trail so I wasn't snapping tri twigs and uh, I started moving along here and I got to I think somewhere maybe around here another let's see 30 yards down and they had wandered their way I think they were working on a trail that was a little diagonal so it wasn't this is probably 80 yards so I think they were up here and when I seen her she was about there uh, I'm guessing um, 30 maybe 40 yards it's further than my 30 yard uh, reference in my yard um, so anyways shot through here uh, and then where, where I found her was down here so she ran another about 25 30 yards down this way so anyways um, that was a fun day anyways that's my first mule deer ever uh, first year of this season also, and um, yeah, largely uh, self-taught. I uh, haven't figured this out. Uh, I've done a lot, a lot of sitting in the stand uh, on days when the wind was wrong. But anyways, thanks to uh, Ken for uh, some phone calls and a lot of texts uh, giving me some advice, uh, largely while I'm sitting in, in a stand or sometimes in, in a blind now. I'm trying to do the blind this year with my son. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching.